you know, last Sunday, just from a Philly standpoint, what did Kobe mean to you and to that city? Um, I mean, he meant, he meant a great deal. Anytime anybody is from the Philly area that does well, you know, we're always connected and linked up and supportive of each other. Um, still in the state of shock. But as you, you know, as you, the days go by, you really, you know, reflect on what they meant to you, what, and you see what they meant to the world, you see what they meant to the basketball community, you see what they, he meant to his family. I mean, it is really hard to swallow, um, you know, but you, you relish on the fact that you know, he was a good man. I mean, he was a good man that approached the game like everybody should approach the game. I mean, he was a great father, he was a great friend, he was a great, great mind, um, so, we're, we're sad because we're going to miss that and we're going to miss you know, all the things that he had in store for us to see. Um, but his legacy will definitely live on. Had y'all met a few yeah, times? Yeah, we met. We met. I, I knew Kobe since he was in high school. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I shared a couple of stories about uh, working out at St. Joe's where um, John Lucas was the coach at the Sixers. And the Sixers weren't doing very well, but John welcomed all of us into his – you know, to his practices, he made us jump in there, some drills. Um, and I can remember just Kobe, just brash Kobe and getting in. And he, he looked like he belonged. He talked like he belonged. He, his actions were, you know, he, weren't, he wasn't afraid of anybody, even even the pros. Not only in the NBA and the WNBA, how much do you see his impact from, I mean, footwork to shot mechanics and, yeah. and technical stuff like that from people just watching him on YouTube and just kind of studying him? Um, I mean, I, I see a lot of um, glimpses of Kobe Nunn that perfected his footwork like he did. You know, some broke Kobe moves, but the inspiration was there. Um, I mean, I, I just like the fact that you could see him publicly embrace his daughter, embrace girls' basketball, embrace women's basketball. And um, although he meant a great deal to everybody else, that's probably what I'm going to miss, his imprint on, on the, the women's game. Because you know he was putting everything into his his daughter Gigi, and and I know I, I I really do believe that as as Gigi grew in the game, he was gonna be more involved in the, in the pro game. Whether it's buying a team, whether it's buying a league, I, I think he would have gotten to that point. So it, it's sad to see that shortened in that way. Um, but I hope you know I hope that the pros who um, who have expressed how they felt about Kobe and and and, and living his legacy will will embrace the women's game like he was he was doing and he was probably going to do in the future. Which we were talking with Destiny about kind of taking on.